Hollywood's first movie network brings you a piece of Hollywood never before seen on the small screen. FXM Movies from Fox presents Movie Tone Short Subjects. This is Apple Valley, California, and this must be an example of the kind of apples they grow. At this point, you may well ask what apples have to do with the picture about archery. Hello, honey. Surely you recall the time when William Tell made an overture to his son. What did William Tell his son? He said, son, stand still whilst I shoot an apple off your young brow with a bow and arrow. These two characters shall be nameless and blameless for what follows in our story. And now, enter the hero, an arch archer played by Andy Bale. After a hard day at the pool, hunger strikes. But little does she know that hunger isn't the only thing that will strike. Handy Andy is a dandy at spoiling an appetite. And that, friends, is what is known in the sporting world as a Cracker Jack shot, with or without salt. One time a cookie is upset about a cracker. Confusion, say, when in Huff, use powder puff, poolside pulchritude. Really part of the act, they're called foils. Foils, spelled F-O-O-L-S. He aims to please her life in his eyes. But if this shot he should muff, he'll hit something besides that powder puff. Confusion say, when woman lose powder puff, time to leave in great big huff. Hmm, thinks Dandy Andy. If I'd missed, she might not be walking away. <laughs> now why on earth do you think this classy lassie is swimming with a balloon in her mouth? Maybe to hold her head above the water? Why, no, not at all. This we call blowing up a sequence in order to make a real production out of the next shot. And here's the big shot of the shot. So go ahead and shoot. All I can say is someday this man's gonna miss, miss, and then, no miss. Now what's up? Oh, a glass ball at the mercy of a playful water stream. That's the target. And although you folks know already that this Apple Valley genius is going to make short shrift of the waterborne spheroid, you may wonder where you can buy those glass balls for your own fountain or pool. Looks like something left over from a Christmas tree. Not him, the ball. Well, that's that. Now we're back to the balloon again. Something tells me that as a kid, our sharpshooter went around sticking pins in other kids' balloons. If nothing else, the scene you're about to witness proves that you shouldn't go around wasting bullets on sandbags. Or, why not shoot at the balloon from the other side? And now in slow motion, the camera highlights the superiority of the arrow when you find yourself in the ridiculous situation of having to go through a sandbag to burst a balloon. Thus concludes the saga of the bow, the bag, and the balloon. Now for a real clever change of pace, the target this time is a balloon. You know something, there are more people in this act than targets? All kidding aside, this sort of thing takes plenty of skill. And to keep shooting at a poor little old balloon all the time takes plenty of nerve. Now he's beginning to hit on every cylinder. I'll be seeing balloons in my sleep. The hardest working character in this epic is the guy that blows up the you-know-what. Amazing, isn't it, that a fellow like Dandy Andy, who has a mania for these air-filled gadgets, never blows up himself. Well, now here's a balloon with a girl attached to it. No matter what they do, some girls can't help but put their foot in it. Say, that's a fine-looking yucca tree. She volunteered to do this, so if the arrow happens to hit her foot, she'll have no kick coming. Yak, yak. Ah, mission accomplished, and there's the V. V for valiant. Watch this young lady. A bit of acting as illuminating as any ever seen on the screen. Any second now, I'm afraid that bulb will turn into a balloon. 
We show this in slow motion, otherwise the picture would be over too soon. Moreover, the slow action points up the fast and furious flight of the arrow. And since there's no balloon in this sequence, it turns out we all get a break. How about that, Bub? Uh, bub? Andy Andy still is electrifying. And now the scene changes. Andy Vale is a thundering into the wide open spaces, a galloping over sand and cactus, over the desert and clear across the screen to a rendezvous. With balloons? Why, no partner with a helicopter. A hanging from the helicopter is a saddle. Hot on the trail of a renegade band, our bashful bow and arrow artist to switch his horses in the middle of a dried up stream. A seeking to outwit the foe, none of the old west for him. No sir, he's as smart as a 20th century fox. Hi-ho, helicopter, away! How about that? Get a load of this, will you? A flyboy cowboy. From the looks of things, this must be the enemy's grounds. And they're percolating, too. Since Handy Andy is an unexpected guest, he'll just have to take pot luck. But obviously, he prefers to take a pot shot. A pot shot and a shot pot. This is archery at its highest. And it brings out the outlaws lowest. Where are the outlaws? We'll get you if it takes us to the end of the picture. Harmless plates or dishware unaware of the warfare. Delivering another blow to the foe, airborne Andy gets his wish. This is his dish. What a break. We'll get you in the end. But Andy Vale doesn't fail. He just keeps a riding mighty high in the saddle. Coffee gone, dishes smashed. Watch enough to drive a man to drink. This cornered criminal goes to the water bag to satiate his parched throat. There's no water in the dry and hot desert. And if versatile Vale can puncture the varmint's water supply, then virtue will triumph over all. But even a desert rat deserves a sporting chance. So Andy's are gonna try it the hard way. Hang it all, mutters Andy to himself, with my bag of tricks, I should be able to bag the bag. Watch carefully, folks. Supported only by his feet, this should be quite a feat. For a cowboy, Andy has no twang in his voice, but his bow speaks for itself. Now what's cooking? The crummy critters still have food left. Hot rolls, but will they be able to eat them? Comes now the episode of The Whistling Barb, starring the very same guy in the very same garb. This is the fable of buns on the table. And now for the action that will thrill you to the marrow, here is Andy Vale with his spectacular bow and arrow. Buns on the tray, now blaze away. I shot an arrow from the sky. It hit some buns, I know not why. Smart dark. I never thought this guy would ever get into the picture. So far, this is the easiest dough he's ever earned. And now the pot, I mean the plot, begins to thicken. The pilot, after a delayed double take, which you will see, slowly realizes that these men are not renegades after all, but mere campers on the trail. Egged on by the unjust assault, the innocent travelers bombard the now arrowless archer and the innocent pilot. The first one to miss is a rotten egg. How hard boiled can you get with such soft boiled ammunition? But the shelling is everything it's cracked up to be. The sudden turn of events is no laughing matter to the pilot who decides to beat a hasty exit. Andy Andy's laughter gives way to fear. The bespattered pilot is planning some vile revenge. He's no fly-by-night guy. Ah, what madness has overtaken this stick pusher, this baddie Birdman? You flying fool, you! No one laughs at me. I am the ace. Saddled with woe and a foe full of naughty aeronautics. A finish that's slashing and splashing. I dropped an archer into the water. He laughed at me when he shouldn't order. Look to Hollywood's first movie network for more of Movie Tone Short Subjects here on FXM Movies from Fox.